Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you very much for joining me in today's video. What I have for you guys is another Dynasty Warriors 9 video. This is probably a video that a lot of people are pretty much trying to understand. It's very, very simple. It took me a while to understand as well. And there wasn't really that many clarified videos on YouTube on pretty much how to do one of the most important things in Dynasty Warriors, which is pretty much unlocking like the special weapon or like the unlimited weapon or weapon 5 for each of the characters within the game. As you guys know, that's probably one of the most important things in Dynasty is trying to get all these rare weapons for each of the characters. But uh, as you guys can see on screen right now, I'm going to try to make this video pretty much really in-depth, really easy to understand and very short so that people click on it, they'll know how to do it right away. Like, if you watch some of the videos out there, they're very, very long and very confusing. But, uh, pretty much just hop right into it. So, I'm currently, um, not really used to the game completely all the way. But I've played it good, fair enough, as you guys can see. I am currently, uh, pretty much still working on the very, very first, like, I guess the character that you pick. So, I haven't played any other characters in this game beside Liu Bei. I pretty much started off playing as Shu, of course, one of my favorite, uh, kingdoms of all time. But uh, pretty much what you want to do here is there's going to be a bunch of major cities around all these different places. The one I am currently in is Chengdu, as you guys can see on screen right now. But uh, pretty much that's where I am. There's like easy ones like right when you start the game, like there may be about five or six or seven missions in. There's already coins. I think the other one I went to was CIP right over here, as you guys will see. But uh, pretty much these are areas where you will pretty much just run around these major cities and you'll find people known as coin collectors. And pretty much what you want to go do is walk up to one of them and talk to them. As you guys can see right on screen here, there we have the favorites. Of course, that is based on pretty much the character you currently are. They'll show you what their extreme weapon or perfect weapon is. As you guys can see, it's the Heavenly Sword EX. That is the most rare weapon you can get for each of the characters. But, um... As you can see, if you move on, Booby, is, which is also like a currency back in the, I guess, the Dynasty Warrior era. Uh, pretty much what there is here is the Booby is uh, pretty much like the regular weapon for each of the characters. Just like a normal weapon you start out with. Then you move up to Dao B, which is also like a little bit better than the other one. Then you move up to Yi Bi Chen, which is also like what you consider to be like the best weapon or the epic weapon, as you guys will see here as well. But uh, here we go with this. As you guys can see, the lower you go, the more EX, or pretty much the EX, which is the rare weapon. And you pretty much need this EB channel, which is really, really difficult to get. I know there's a bunch of ways. If you look up on YouTube, I think you have to beat a lot of the um, story mode to unlock a lot of different areas where you have to go to farm these coins or to pretty much exploit and get these coins easier than pretty much just playing the game itself. But as you guys can see here, guys, I haven't even done any exploits. I currently only have 22 of them. I've earned these legitly. I've played pretty much the whole entire campaign for Shu almost. And I've only made 22 of them. So that's what I've currently done right now. I know if you up like the difficulty, I think I was playing on normal. But if you up it to Chaos or whatever the other one is, uh, pretty much you have a higher chance of getting these coins. But then you have all these other coins over that don't really matter as much. Everybody's pretty much worried about this part right here. But as you guys can see, if I just go through and look at all these different cool weapons here, you have the other ones, which are very cheap right here. And um, pretty much you have the other ones, which cost five, which are very, very good. These are the EX weapons. So I'm going to be crafting my very, very first weapon. I know there's a lot of videos on YouTube that weren't very clear. They just did it really, really quick, and people didn't really understand. Like, for example, me, I have to see it. Like you have to do it live right there for me to watch. So I hope this video does help you guys as well. So we head over to here which is going to be the Heavenly Sword EX, which is Liu Bei's epic weapon. So we're going to go ahead and buy it. If you see the quantity at the bottom, what I've heard from videos, like I haven't tried it, I'm hoping this is the correct way, but you need to have at least three of them. So you can, I can move around one or two. So it's going to cost me 15 of the Yi Gen coins. So I'm going to go ahead and purchase that right now. As you guys will see right there, it's completely purchased. Now what you want to go ahead and do is um stay within the city. Every city has... um. A coin like a major city has these coin collectors and they also have people known as the blacksmith so what you want to go do is go over to a blacksmith right here once you're at the blacksmith what you want to do is go and hit craft once you hit craft here as you guys can see I don't have every single item yet but uh, these items you just got to pretty much go all around the map the whole entire world and just collect all these items so I do currently have the scroll completed I bought all three of them as you guys can see right there but the materials that are required are something that I'm missing right now. So I will add a little clip probably at the very end of this video just to show you guys all the other stuff and how to exactly build. Because I currently don't have all the materials. But 
once you buy all three of those um scrolls, pretty much you go over to the blacksmith and you see if you have the ingredients to craft it, but I currently do not. So as you can see, the names are pretty complicated, but I'm missing a bunch of other stuff here that I have to try to head and pretty much go around and look for, which is going to be a challenge. But uh, that's pretty much it, guys, as of right now. So I'll be back in a second once I have everything, and I'll add it to this video for you guys to see as well in a second. So pretty much, guys, we are currently back right here at the blacksmith. So earlier, I was recording the two videos separate, but uh, pretty much what we were missing was a couple of the items, as you guys can see here. Uh, I have the Heavenly Sword EX. I was missing those two last items on the bottom, and I thought it was going to be really difficult. It was going to be a challenge to find, but it took me less than a minute to find both of those items, which was very, very easy to do. I'll show you guys a quick tip in a second before I go ahead and craft this weapon. So what I did is pretty much hit start, go ahead and go over to where you can look around the whole map, go to treasure info, and I would just go up to all these different things. I think this is one of the, yeah. So it was just like things like this right here where you would just go around the whole entire map and you would have to zoom in just to look at all these different um, treasure spots or like like the leaf and the rock. As you guys can see, it says diamond, all those different things out here as well. That's pretty much how I found it. It was very, very simple. Just see what you need. Go ahead and look through the whole map. That's why I said you have to pretty much play a lot of the story to unlock different areas to go see these uh, rocks or whatever you're missing as well. So it's pretty simple right there, guys. And um, let's hop back to the most important part, which is buying the right. weapon. So as here. you guys can see, or not buying, but crafting the weapon. If I head over to weapon right now, I can go ahead and click on this. And it'll say, do you want to develop the Heavenly Sword EX? Go ahead and hit yes. And uh, pretty much that's it, guys. You buy a very, very expensive epic weapon there. I got a trophy as well so for my very first time. Come but uh, that's pretty much it, guys. And let's go ahead and show you the weapon as well. If you head over to the start button, go over to the equipment, and you will go ahead and click on it. And pretty much you can see Liu Bei is holding his epic weapon, which is really, really cool. You can add a bunch of cool things to it as well. But uh, that's pretty much it, guys. It's something very, very simple. And a quick recap, buy all three scrolls from the coin collector. Head to Blacksmith, go to Craft, and pretty much look through all the um, stuff you need for the scrolls. Make sure you need all three scrolls. So you have to move it three times. You have to pay 15, I think is... Which coin was it again? It was the most expensive coin, which is the Yip Gen coin. I'm pretty sure, yeah, that is the coin you need. So uh, you got to be able to get 15 of those. There's exploits all over YouTube, guys. But uh, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, be sure to drop a like down below. And I hope this video did help you as well. And if you do, it would be awesome to subscribe. And I'll see you guys in another video. Till next time, peace out.